ओके वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर प्रमाणा पी यू कॉलेज ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एज यू नो दैट माई सेल्फ विनोद कुमार एंड एज आई वॉन्ट टू से अबाउट द प्रीवियस क्लास यू नो दैट इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हुड हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड दिस ड्यूअल नेचर ऑफ मैटर एंड रेडिएशन एंड इन माई प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई गेव यू इंट्रोडक्शन अबाउट दिस ड्यूअल नेचर ऑफ मैटर एंड रेडिएशन सो यू नो दैट सो इन अ ब्रीफ इफ आई वॉन्ट टू give the uh, some flashback of the dual nature of matter and radiation means in a few lines i suppose to conclude that so what is that dual nature of matter and radiation means so these two different things the matter and as well as radiation has got some two nature so one is particle nature and another one wave nature and at present for the our class and as per the pu syllabus for the physics this chap this chapter is concerned we have uh, particle nature so particle nature of the light uh, we are going to study at the beginning and thereby in order to confirm about the particle nature of light radiation we have a phenomenon known as photoelectric effect and this phenomenon of photoelectric effect is uh, concluding about the particle nature of light and there are further theories are also there so regarding that i am going to discuss further but for present class so with the continuation of uh, this halvak and lenard's observation we have today the experimental study of photoelectric effect and now halvak and lenard they have studied the what and they observed certain observation regarding photoelectric effect later on they conducted an experiment and through this experiment so with the help of this experiment they have studied the what variation of photoelectric of photoelectric current with the intensity of the light with respect to the frequency of the incident radiation as well as with respect to the collector and emitter plate potential and with respect to the nature of the photo photo that is a sensitive material of emitter plate so depending upon these four uh, quantities so they have studied about the photoelectric current how photoelectric current can be varied with the help of intensity so like this experimental conclusions they have given here and they have discussed here and for today's class we shall go through that experimental study of photoelectric effect so now for this experimental study of photoelectric effect you will be require an experimental diagram here so i am going to draw that experimental diagram please go through that see this is an experimental arrangement for the study of uh, photoelectric effect see listen here this experimental setup consisting of a uh, two metallic plates one plate is labeled with e known as emitter plate and another one plate is labeled as c known as collector plate 
so you know that what you mean by emitter plate so emitter plate is nothing but the photosensitive material plate so which is sensitive for the light radiation okay and these whenever you illuminate the light radiation on such a photosensitive material they always eject the electrons so they eject the electrons and remember and this ejected electrons are supposed to be attracted towards the one plate known as that is collector plate and which was set at negative potential which was connected at negative potential so first we shall see just what are the apparatus are there and later on we shall study about the experimental um, application of this so now this is nothing but the what an emitter plate and collector plate which is enclosed under a glass tube which is enclosed under a glass tube or a quartz tube and this quartz tube or a glass tube is provided with one small opening okay. this opening is to be called as window and it is represented with the letter w and this window is mainly because to allow the certain source to enter so source is nothing but what here ultraviolet radiation or light so generally a source is nothing but the what a light and this light is made to allow through this window and then it is going to fall on this photosensitive material plate so listen here and further these two plates are subjected for the water the source of external energy nothing but they are connected to the battery so it is nothing but the water a one type of field emission here because the emitter plate is subjected for that is nothing but the field so by the some electric field i am going to create between these two plates with the help of this battery okay so it is a one kind of field emission here it is a one kind of field emission and illumination of light radiation due to that emission of electron takes place that is photoelectric emission okay so listen here so here emitter plate is there collector plate is there and here one micro emitter is introduced why in order to record the photoelectric current or in order to uh, that just in order to note the photoelectric current and thereby we have a one device known as commutator here so this is re represented with the letter k and what is this commutator means this commutator will help in order to reverse the potential between emitter and collector i can reverse the potential i can make this negative and this as positive with the help of this so commutator is just we are going to vary the potential we can reverse the potential between emitter and a collector and here there is a one voltmeter in order to notice about the potential between emitter and collector and next so this emitter and collectors are subjected for the water a source of energy with the help of battery and it is a study device which supplies a potential difference between emitter and a collector plate now when emitter is connected to the negative terminal of a battery and collector is connected to the what a positive terminal of a battery so we can also reverse this if you want to reverse this just you open here and you just connect like this see in this condition emitter is connected like this connection positive and collector is connected to the negative so this is the some experimental case at the time i am going to study about this but now you consider previously we are discussing with emitter as positive with emitter as negative and collector as positive so emitter negative terminal of battery collector positive terminal of battery okay so now i am maintaining emitter and collectors are at emitter is maintained at negative potential collector plate is at positive potential so with the help of battery and with the help of this commutator k is called commutator so whenever if i illuminate a particular source of radiation some particular source of radiation means a light radiation uv radiation whenever i incident an ultraviolet radiation on a emitter plate which is maintained at negative potential as soon incident the electrons get ejected the electrons get ejected and these emitted electrons get attracted towards the collector plate and this collector plate was maintained at positive potential due to the electric field the electrons get attracted as soon the photoelectric current is going to be flowing through the circuit and this photoelectric current can be noticed with the help of this emitter which is there introduced in this circuit 
but for the today's class what experimental study is there so now we can study how this photoelectric current will vary if i vary the intensity of the light so first we have to study how this photoelectric current can be varied if i vary intensity of the light first result we need to study from this experiment and the second one how this photoelectric current can be varied with respect to the frequency of the incident light at first we are going to study with respect to the intensity with respect to the intensity of the radiation first case is with respect to the intensity of the radiation with respect to the intensity of the radiation so second one with respect to the frequency of the radiation frequency of the radiation frequency of the radiation and the third one is with respect to the potential between collector and emitter plate with respect to the potential between emitter as well as collector plate and the fourth one is nature of fourth one is nature of material of emitter plate nature of material of emitter plate emitter plate so here very simple with the help of this experimental arrangement so we are going to study variation of photoelectric current with respect to intensity of the radiation with respect to frequency of the radiation with respect to potential between emitter and collector plate and depending upon the nature of the material of the emitter plate but remember here for the today's class we shall study how the photoelectric current varies with respect to intensity of the radiation and in order to study this what are the some experimental consideration we have to take here so regarding that we shall study so we are going to study how photoelectric current is going to vary with respect to the intensity of the incident radiation say let us consider emitter plate is maintained at negative potential which is fixed and collector is maintained at positive potential which is also fixed now i am going to illuminate a source of light having intensity some way having some intensity of fixed frequency so i am going to choose a source of light for the study of this is of fixed frequency i am choosing fixed frequency what you can understand by fixed frequency means so i am using some intense source of some fixed color say either of yellow color either of green color either of blue color or red color so one fixed value of frequency i may use say for example i am using ultraviolet radiation means it has fixed frequency i am using some fixed frequency radiation so i can vary intensity so just you uh, remember here so varying intensity fixed intensity how you can understand see varying intensity of fixed frequency means i can use 100 watt bulb of yellow color 100 watt bulb of yellow color so next if i can use 200 watt bulb of same yellow color what is the meaning here i am gone changing intensity but what is the frequency of same color fixed frequency so like this for the study of variation of photoelectric current with respect to the intensity of the incident radiation i am going to achieve this study by using a light source of fixed frequency having some particular intensity and i am and also simultaneously i am keeping the emitter and collector plate potential also fixed and now if i illuminate a light source of fixed frequency on the emitter plate we know that the electrons get ejected and these electrons are called photo electrons and these photo electrons function is nothing but to generate photoelectric current and this photoelectric current can be noticed with the help of this emitter here so now what i will do 
in a step by step i will allow the fixed frequency light but with variable intensity i am gone increasing the intensity of the source as you increase the intensity of the source radiation what happens the rate of emission of electron will be more it means more and more number of electrons get ejected per second from the photosensitive material as a more and more number of electrons are ejected from the photosensitive material then more number of electrons get attracted towards the collector plate as soon the photoelectric current is gone increases if you increase the intensity so here we notice that if you increase the intensity of the source of light what happens here the rate of emission of electrons per second is linearly increase Jesus. so it varies linearly if you vary linearly intensity then simultaneously photoelectric current also varies linearly it means if i increase intensity number of electrons emitted per second is also increases indirectly what is this number of electrons emitted per second is photoelectric current so if i plot an experimental graph here in order to study this uh, variation of intensity on photoelectric current suppose if you plot a graph so i am going to take along x axis intensity and next along y axis i am going to take photoelectric current photoelectric current photoelectric current see from this experiment we are observing that if emitter and collector plates are at fixed potential if a source of light having fixed frequency if it is incident on the emitter plate as you increase the intensity of the source with fixed frequency we notice that the photoelectric current also increases and hence the graph is straight line we are getting graph is straight line so why straight line because there is a linear dependence of these two intensity is linearly varying with respect to the photoelectric current so if you vary the intensity linearly photoelectric current also varies how directly proportional to each other so it means from this experimental study for the first condition that is the intensity of the light radiation how it depends on a current means generally the photoelectric current is directly proportional to the intensity it means the number of photoelectrons emitted per second is directly proportional to the intensity of the incident radiation therefore the photoelectric current is directly proportional to the intensity of the light so this is nothing but the what the experimental study of photoelectric effect under that the variation of photoelectric current with respect to the intensity of the radiation and in my next class i would like to tell you about the variation of photoelectric current with respect to the emitter and collector plate potential with respect to the emitter and collector plate potential suppose if i reverse the potential so instead of emitter as negative if i make it positive and if i make this as negative what happens to the photoelectric current is it photoelectric current will come if i made uh, if i reverse the potential of emitter and collector and if if so if photoelectric current will not come so what we call that particular negative particular uh, positive potential and what is that particular negative potential of collector plate we call so regarding all that uh, concept i would like to explain in my next lecture okay thank you